Hi team. Hello. Um, today we're talking about what is loose leaf tea? What is it? This is not loose leaf tea. This is a tea bag. Let's open it up and we've got a bog standard tea bag. I'm gonna cut this open. This is the tea that you get in a bag. Now you might not be able to see this. Look at that. Look at that. Tea from a bag. It's very fine. That's what you get in a bag. Opposed to tea that does not come in a bag. This is a little bit fancy. This is from Gaia Botanica. They um, are a small little place in Adelaide. Their packaging is obs really nice. Uh, this is not sponsored. Beachy Dubs. I just, I have this. And this is, you will see, organic loose leaf tea okay so this is loose leaf tea it does not come in a bag you can see here these these are leaves and they're all like kind of scrunched up and stuff so that's that's a leaf now they don't always come whoopsie all scrunched up like that sometimes you get other fancy ones that look like this these are actually really fancy actually both of these teas were gifts from the same person. Oh, these ones feel so good. These are really, really soft. This is a white tea. This is like the most unprocessed tea. I'll tell you more about that in a second. This is a white tea. This is a really like, whoopsie, you can see these actually look like leaves. Like they're actually kind of leafish. And then you don't, you don't also have to have like fancy loose leaf tea from like fancy place. You can also have you know these tea bags that we were looking at earlier, this Twining's English breakfast. You can also have the same tea, but in loose leaf variety. So this is the tea that was from the bag, this bag. And in here, you've got English breakfast loose tea. In there, you can see through there and it's loose leaf. All right, so and in here, I already opened this um, for experimentational purposes because this this loose leaf tea is slightly bigger tea than in the tea bag but not much so your quality definitely oh yeah i just put a peg on that because like i don't really drink this um i'm not saying it's bad tea it's just a lower quality tea um and mostly i have it for experimentation because you know tea so here you can see these are both from the same brand this one's from the bag. Whoops, I totally just poured that all over. This one is the loose leaf. So there is a very, very slight difference there in the texture, in the shape, in the cut of the leaves. The loose leaf is slightly bigger and the one from the bag is slightly smaller. So that's, that's the main difference between a bag and a loose leaf. Um, one, the bag obviously comes in a bag, and the loose leaf obviously comes loose. So sometimes they come in really nice packaging, like this one from Gaia Botanica. It's in like an amber glass package, which um, stops some of the light coming in, which prolongs the life of the tea, but you can still see it, um, which is always nice when you can see it. Sometimes they come in like little fancy tin things. This one's from the tea center. It's um, silver needles. Sorry, I didn't even say it. This is an oolong tea. This is a white tea, kind of like a green tea, but much less processed. So typically loose leaf tea is a higher grade or quality than a um, tea from a bag, but that's not always the case. Some tea bags have got a really high quality tea in them. And sometimes loose leaf tea is actually not a high quality like this Twinings one. Now quality is not necessarily an indication of flavor either. And typically a higher quality tea is going to taste better than a lower quality tea, but not if you don't know how to brew it correctly. And we can talk about that another time. If you're interested, let me know. So when we're talking about things like quality and grading, you might hear things like orange pico. It's got nothing to do with oranges or picos. It just means whole leaf. That's what orange pico means, whole leaf. So that's a technical grading terminology for loose leaf tea. And you're also going to hear acronyms like, I've got to read this, FTG, 
F-O-P. I remember that because like sometimes people make a joke and are like far too good for ordinary people. I think that that's bullshit. It's actually great for ordinary people. It's great. It tastes delicious. Most people should actually, you should be drinking. Drink the fancy tea, man. It tastes <laughs> great. So that's F-T-G-F-O-P, Fittigfop, Fittigfop. There's other kinds of gradings as well. There's a CTC, grading slash method. CTC means cut, tear, curl. And when you see those, they're like kind of little bubbles. So there's a whole bunch of different grades in loose leaf tea. Basically, is it in a bag? Yes, no. If it's in a bag, then it's not loose leaf, it's a tea bag. If it's not in a bag, then it's loose leaf tea. So tea, true tea, comes from the plant Camellia sinensis. Camellia sinensis is a tree shrub thing. It originates from China. All true teas come from that. So you would have heard of things like green tea and black tea and oolong tea maybe. Those all come from the same plant. They all come from Camellia sinensis. There are other kinds of true teas as well that come from that plant. So maybe you've heard of white tea. This is a white tea. So this also comes from Camellia sinensis. This is an oolong. This also comes from Camellia sinensis. These are black teas. They also come from Camellia sinensis. You've also got your pua teas, which come from a Camellia sinensis. And you've also got yellow tea, which comes from Camellia sinensis. I have never had a yellow tea. There are not many people, I think, that remember how to make yellow tea. I think it's a dying art in China, but it does exist. So all six of those kinds of teas come from the one plant, Camellia sinensis. So why are they different? Well, because they're processed separately. When I talk about processing, I'm not talking about additives or flavoring, nothing like that. It's literally, how is it dried? How is it prepared? How was it pulled off the plant? All of those things come into the processing of the tea. Now, be happy to talk to you more about that, but it can get really quite in depth. I'll link down below some really in depth, great things that you can look at on YouTube about tea processing. But you know, if you want me to do it, that's cool. That's cool, I can do that. Now you can also have loose leaf tea from a true tea, like, like these, which is flavored and they do have additives, but those are not added into the processing, they're added after. So you might take something like this, for example, and add vanilla to it. And then you would have something like the tea to Melbourne breakfast that's got a vanilla flavoring in it. Earl Grey is a typical flavored black tea. Chai is a classic flavored tea where you've got things added into it. So, you know, you've got your spices and all that kind of stuff is added into the tea. So those are your typical flavored teas. You can also have blends of tea. So this is not a blend. These are very special white silver needles. They all come from the same region from the same place and processor. These, however, this black tea is an English breakfast tea. English breakfast is a blend. Anything that's got like something breakfast, it's a blend of different teas. Typically your breakfast blends are a mix of maybe Sri Lankan, Ceylon teas or Indian teas like Assam, maybe even a Darjeeling in there. And they're blended from a whole different lot of tea estates from different regions and they mix them all together and that's how you get a blend. So you can have lower quality blends like this, but you can also get really fancy blends. And I really like it when people make a blend and they actually tell me where the regions are that the tea was sourced from. So you can have flavored tea and blends of tea, but all of these are still kind of coming from that Camellia sinensis true tea family. So you can also have tea like peppermint tea. That's got nothing at all to do with Camellia sinensis. That is just peppermint. It's the same with chamomile. Nothing to do with true teas like these. It's just chamomile. So that's true of all of your teasanes and your infusions and your herbal teas. So there's just plant matter that is steeped in water and you can call that an infusion, you can call that a tisane, or you can call that a herbal tea. So where can you get it? Where can you buy tea? You can buy tea in so many places. Like you can get tea from your local supermarket. You can get 
like low quality tea and okay tea as well from your local supermarket. Some supermarkets stock pretty good tea as well. If you would like me to do like a, what should you buy if you have to go to the supermarket about tea? I would love to do that, that'd be really fun. So let me know. I mean, you can get it from T2. T2 sell a lot of tea. By the way, I'm not sponsored by T2 either. Not sponsored by anyone. No one's giving me money. They have so many teas. They come in small little packages and little cubes. It's great if you're not really sure which one you're gonna like the most. You can try a whole bunch of them. Hot tip if you're going into T2 to buy tea and you wanna buy loose leaf tea, get the ones in the orange boxes, not the ones in the yellow boxes. Where else can you get it from? In Australia, you can buy it from the Tea Centre, another place that I love to buy tea from. They have a lot of tea, but a few stores around the East Coast. Like there's a lot of places that you can buy tea online. If you don't know where to start, I would suggest trying to find somewhere where you could buy a little sample pack. Sometimes they sell them with little sachets of loose leaf tea. See if you like it and then you can repurchase it if you like that. That's what I would recommend. Try and find somewhere that's selling a sample pack. If this has been helpful, let me know know. Um, if you want to know more, cool. Love to tell you more. But this is just a really brief overview about what the f*** is loose leaf tea. It's not a tea bag. You can buy lots of it. There's lots that exists. Cool beans. If you liked it, I mean you could like and subscribe. Uh, you, you can do that. I mean that would be cool for me. You don't have to, but um, I'm new to this and I'd like some subscribers. Oh by the way, do you like Xena? That's Xena. She's mostly made of monster and floof. Monster and floof and cuteness. I love her. Okay, bye. Um, I can't fucking close this. How am I gonna get this closed? Still no. Oh my God. Oh, I got it. I got it. No, I got it. Okay. <laughs>